I can get it to focus. They're really cool. Looks like I got a few of these skulls. Very nice stuff. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be, but it can go on a necklace. Itty bitty rocks. Dang it, I can't pick it up. There. Let's see if I can. Itty 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 bitty bead. Another button. Another leaf. More of those marble beads. Go ahead and throw those in there. Diamonds. Keep dropping stuff. Nate, hey, what's up? Thanks for popping in. These little diamond pieces are pretty cool. I do agree, that button was pretty pog. It's a pretty cool button, too. Some quartz. Uh, not sure. More quartz. Lots of stones. More of the little diamonds. Boy, stop it. Sorry, dog. It's not for you. Quit trying to eat everything. There is a Pokemon in chat, guys. If you want to... Here, I'll show you. If you type in hashtag Pokestart, you will start in as a Pokemon uh, trainer. Poke Catch. Will allow you to try to catch it. Just a plain Poke Catch will use plain Pokeballs. Then for clone, ultra, great, and all the others, you do have to type in their name. You can type in Poke Shop to buy Pokeballs. And if you scroll down on a. If you are on de uh, <coughs> the computer and you scroll down on my page, it'll actually show you some uh the pokemon you get in that stuff Let's see if i can focus in on this it's just not having it i'm not sure what it's supposed to be it looks like just pressed metal no one caught the crow gunk unfortunate Ooh, a snake ring. Very cool. Another ring. I think these are called tiara rings, but I'm not sure. Another bead. I think. Yep, it's a bead. It's a natural rock bead, though. Another button. And this button's the last piece of the set. <coughs> <coughs> so lots of good stuff in this. Give me just a second, guys. Alright. Lots, lots, lots of good stuff. We got two bags out of it. 
I do like using these bags for when I do my own crafting shipments. They are good for putting extras in. <coughs> Nate, I just now got your message on Discord. Sorry about that. I would have replied sooner, but I almost immediately started streaming. I missed one of the beats. <coughs> it's a nice little haul. I'm really digging this key, though. Look at that. That's some D and D esque keywork right there. I could use that for stuff, but uh, these these coins are definitely gonna be used a lot for when I need to make decisions in stream. <clears throat> now the little mushrooms, I'm thinking either keep them. And use them as earrings or maybe send them to shroomy the key is very awesome you are right nate uh i'll re i'll go over a couple more things since you haven't been in here long we got this box as well it's a very nice little box very shiny the box came with one of the bags with some chocolate in it as an extra I'm a sucker for some good dark chocolate, so I'm definitely not going to complain. We've got a nice little selection of stones. And again, I do have to look up and see what this is on their site. But we got lots and lots of good stuff. We got a page from either Eclipse or Breaking Dawn. I can't remember, but it is tea weathered. It's very, very nice. Yes, I do, 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 very much do enjoy some good dark chocolate. I, uh, I'm a little weird though. I also like black licorice and black jelly beans. I like the bitterness of them. So, a lot of people think I'm weird for it. But I think we got a good amount of stuff this time around. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the. I'm gonna go ahead and put all the little stones into the box until I can get my cases that I keep stones in. A big rock collector. Take one last look at them. If I can get it to angle right. Without spilling them. It's not going to do it. But yeah. We got some nice rocks. Some nice coins. Lots of beads and buttons. Very nice. This little cameo. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with at the moment. I could use this for D&D as well. It looks like it's set with diamond might be cubic zirconia but it's got some weight to it too I think this is stainless steel plated gold but I'm not sure like it could just be costume jewelry but because the center cameo looks kind of cheap but it's got a good amount of weight so it might be real I might have just ran off with a steel on that I I don't have my dice bag with me, so I have to just put up with loose dice at the moment. So that's fun. I'll go ahead and put them with the rocks. So that way I know where they are. I have to say, rating this whole unboxing, this. Uh, this loot grab or mystery box, whatever you want to call it, is one of my favorites by far, for sure. I absolutely love everything about this. The cute little pumpkin bell. Ooh. 
one of its mouths is askew a little bit. That's unfortunate. I think this is good. I definitely acquired some great loot. Uh, I don't know if you were here for when I was saying it. This came from Shop of the Courier on Courier. Shop of the Courier on Etsy. Uh, the item I bought was the uh, Hold on, it says. Not there. It's hit somewhere. Uh, it is the Crow's Curiosities Odd Oddities, I think. I think that's what it was. It was something similar. Whatever the case, it did turn out really well. I had high expectations. And even though I made a couple requests that were not allowed at that price level, because they have a larger size that is custom that you can pick things for, and I misread it and asked for, I said, I asked if they could put at least one of these things, like, I gave them a list and said, if you could put at least one, that'd be great. And I ended up getting most of what I asked about. So that was fantastic. They worked with me even though they didn't have to. So once again, all in all, 10 out of 10 for this. I will be buying from their shop quite often after this and doing a lot more unboxings. They have many, many, many different choices on there. Let me pull it up real quick. I want to figure out what this pink thing is anyway. Just a second, guys. And I'm not sure which one it is from that. Crowcore Oddities Mix is the actual listing on Etsy. Do, 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 do. All right, trinkets include, these are things you can get from them, mini skulls, marbles, gold doubloons, opalite tumbles, shells, multicolored beads, silver brooches, gold brooches, acrylic diamonds, buttons, crystal beads, mini glitter bottles, which I don't think that's what that is because there's no glitter, but it could be. Uh, skeleton keys, mushroom charms, wooden spools. I asked if I could get a spool. I did not get one this time, but I did also ask for a keys, dice, and or um, there's something else too, but 
You can also get sea glass, bottle caps. I think I asked for bottle caps, which I got two, which is awesome. Crystal tumbles, clear quartz. I asked for crystals. That's what it was. Rainbow glass chips. I got a glass chip. I didn't ask for it, but I got it. Dice rings, bird skull charms, fairy charms, feather charms, D&D coins, and sometimes, like it literally says, and sometimes, plastic babies and plastic spiders. I did not have any desire for the plastic babies that I got, but I'll find a use for them. This is an absolute godsend of a shop. It'll make things so fun. Definitely looking forward to my next purchase. It'll probably be a while. Let's see if I can move this around. Eh, that'll be good. I have to hold it still though. But they have clothing bundles, specific cells. There's the oddities jar that I got. Cemetery soup, which is similar. And just so many interesting things that could have so much potential. I may not be sponsored, but I definitely recommend Shop of the Cure. Shop of the Courier, yeah. I'm still not sure if that's right. Either way. Once again, I definitely recommend them. And... We'll be doing a and unboxing as often as I can. Agreed, Nate. So many neat things in there, but I will be doing a uh, mystery box grab thing as often as I can from there. I might throw in some from other places, but that's going to be our main one. Oh, Nate, check these out real quick. I got these from uh, Dungeon Crates. They are Stress Relief, Mimic, and Gelatinous Cube. They were on top of the book, so I had to move them anyway. But they are adorable. I also recommend Dungeon Crate if you're into D&D, which obviously I am at this point. Everybody knows, but... It's all, yes, a cube. Here, check it out. Just all the skellies and dice forms in there. It's amazing. The, uh... On their packaging, they were labeled grape for the Mimic and, I think, lime for the gelatinous cube. They are not smelly, though. They do not smell like those, and it's very disappointing. I would have liked a Mimic that smelled like grape. I'm not sure if the music I have going in the background is audible for you guys, but give me just a second. I need to go grab a thing of water so I have something to drink when this 
Soda's gone. And we'll be right back to start the book. And we are back, guys. Let's go ahead and move this box out of the way. Oh, that stinks. This door doesn't have a handle on it, I just pushed it in all the way. I'll have to fix it later. And that was our first unboxing for in quite a while. I think we did pretty well. Give me just a second. I am eating at the at this moment as well because I need to eat more often. <laughs> 